Hello guys, my name is Vasek and welcome to my channel. And in this video I would like to tell you about four really great books written by modern Stoic thinkers. There is a reason why Stoicism as a philosophy has survived 2000 years and it still remains very relevant and very helpful to our own lives. But I think the reason for this is because at its core Stoicism focuses on different techniques that help us with self-reflection. And those techniques continued to evolve ever since Stoicism started to flourish in ancient Greece and Rome 2000 years ago. And I believe that the debate on which techniques are the best on self-reflection and how we can apply it to our own lives hasn't stopped to our day. For this reason, I decided to choose those four really great books. I believe after reading those four books, you'll become kind of an expert on Stoic philosophy because they'll tell you about the history of Stoicism and how it evolved about its key thinkers and how they differed and how the ideas of those key thinkers can be applied to your own life. first book on this list that I would like to recommend to you is written by uh, perhaps one of the most famous writers on Stoicism today. His name is Ryan Holiday. He has already several books published on Stoicism. I really enjoyed reading his Ego is the Enemy and Obstacle is the Way. But in this video, I would like to recommend to you his book called Lives of the Stoics, The Art of Living from Zeno to Marcus Aurelius. The reason why I decided to start with this book is because it gives kind of an overview of Stoicism. If this book is a short collection of biographies of uh, key Stoic thinkers. They are only five to six pages long. I think the longest one is de dedicated to Marcus Aurelius for evident reasons. After all, he's the most famous Stoic philosopher of all time. But this book is such an entertaining read because this book is not just a simple chronological history of Stoicism. No, it's a history of how those ideas uh, appeared at the first place and how they evolved. So as an example, as a teaser of this book, I'll tell you about the very first philosopher that Ryan Holiday mentions and his name was Zeno and Ryan calls him Zeno the prophet. Zeno came from a family of merchants and one day unfortunately his ship um, got into the storm and sank and he barely survived and was washed ashore. After surviving this disaster and essentially becoming bankrupt because all his goods sank in the sea, Zeno realized that he has a choice of how he can approach this event uh, in his life. He can either turn it as a benefit to him or he can suffer and die in self-pity. He obviously chose to um, turn it for his benefit and that's how the ideas and philosophy of Stoicism came to be. He, Ryan starts this chapter with a sentence that says, the story of Stoicism begins fittingly in a misfortune. It is a wonderful book. I would really recommend you to read it. I actually have also the audio copy of this book on my Audible. Each chapter of this audiobook is like a podcast episode, which allows you to briefly get encountered with the greatest uh, philosophical ideas of all time. So the first book is Lives of the Stoics by Ryan Holiday. The second book on this list is called How to Think Like a Roman Emperor, written by Donald Robertson. Donald Robertson is cognitive behavior psychotherapist, and that's an important part because this book focuses on the life of Marcus Aurelius, the author of uh, famous journals, Meditations. But this, once again, is not just a simple chronological bi uh, biography of Marcus's life, that he was born um, on this date, he fought this these battles and then he died this way. No, this book is much more sophisticated. Since Donald Robertson is cognitive behavior psychotherapist, he looks at the psychological portrait of Marcus Aurelius and how Marcus Aurelius came to Stoicism. Why did he practice journalism? How did he practice journalism? It is a brilliant read because it shows you the internal struggles of uh, such a powerful man who had so many weaknesses. And I would like to include in this video for you a brief 30 second excerpt of my interview with Donald Robertson. And this is what makes him so interesting. He's a guy who really on the inside was struggling 
with some of these very human feelings and on the outside had kind of succeeded in mastering them through the me- in the meditations we see them it's like a workshop like he's working on himself but in the histories they're like he never lost his temper like you know he was a, a, a paragon of, of, of self-discipline uh, and, and wisdom and equanimity um, and maybe what we're looking at is a guy that had an inner turmoil and struggles but actually succeeded in conquering you will be able to listen to the full interview on my podcast, which I'll link it down below. Right, the third and the thinnest book on my list is written by Massimo Pilucci, who is one of the key uh, thinkers of the modern Stoic philosophy. The book is called The Stoic Guide to a Happy Life. It's really short, it's 120 pages long. The subtitle of this book is 53 Brief Lessons for Living. And Pilucci takes those 53 lessons from uh, ancient Stoic thinker Epictetus, one of my favorites actually. Epictetus' book Enchiridion is one of my, one of the books that I carry almost everywhere I go. Wow, that's a powerful storm. Autumn came to the UK, rain, very grey weather, leaves are falling on the street, everything that I like. This book is adaptation of Epictetus' Enchiridion. Enchiridion was a kind of a guide to a good life. It is very brief advice on how to control your emotions, how to react to external irritations, how to focus your life on uh, important things. So, th- And this book is adaptation of that Enchirid- Enchiridion to our our modern times. Um, I would like to read to you a couple of the uh, advice that he gives here. So the advice number 17. It is not up to you if you are born rich or poor, smart or somewhat dense, handsome or ugly, but it is very much up to you to make the best of it. This is the measure of your excellence as a human being. If we pause and think about it, existentialists in the 1950s were trying to address the fact that we are often thrown and born in circumstances that were beyond of our beyond our control uh, we couldn't choose our parents we couldn't choose the country we were born we couldn't choose the heavy rain uh, but stoics tell to this fact is that it is what we do with what we were given what uh, is what matters advice number 19 on the next page says you should not desire to be famous rich or powerful but to be free and the only way to be free is not to attach your well-being and self-esteem to things that are not up to you such as fame wealth and power once again it is a simple thing that we sh- should always keep in mind so yeah the third book on the list is the stoic guide to a happy life by massimo Piliucci. And, and the fourth and the final book was written by william b irvin and it's called a guide to a good life um, i really loved that book and decided to include it towards the end of this list because it summarizes the three books that I uh, mentioned before. It summarizes the modern approach to Stoic philosophy in our times. So by reading this book, perhaps you won't get the overview of Stoic philosophy and the key ideas. You wouldn't go into the depth of psychological portrait of Marcus Aurelius or the advice of uh, Epictetus that Massimo Pellucci pro- provides. But what you will get is a kind of a new way, a new set of mindset on how to approach life, on how to approach challenges. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope those books will be as helpful to you as uh, as they were helpful to me. Uh, this is the reason why I thought I'll make this video. Since this is a small channel, uh, 600 views that my video on how to journal like a stoic seem to be an enormous amount. Uh, it seemed to be very popular to me. So I decided to follow up on that video. If you haven't watched it, uh, I would recommend you to watch it. There I discuss 
the ways I started journaling. I've been journaling for the last 12 years of my life almost every day. I've written like two dozen of uh, diaries. I hope you'll find that video helpful uh, as well as this one. I would be really grateful if you would subscribe to my channel if you found this advice useful. I also sent a monthly newsletter with my favorite books, with the podcasts and interviews that I conduct. I actually interviewed, as I mentioned, Donald Robertson. I also interviewed a writer whose name is Stephen Gambardella. He's a brilliant writer on stoicism. He discusses actually Piliucci's book. Once again, thank you for clicking on this video, for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love.